Oh, hello there. Hey, I got a question for you. What's the most eye rating you've ever lost in one day? Today, I think I hit a personal record. 406 eye rating lost in one day. Zoop down the tubes. How the heck did that happen? Well, I'll show you. Oh, that guy's way wide. <laughs> He's coming back on track. Let's, oh, no! <laughs> what a gaggle. Why? Right side. Play right. On your right. Play go, right. go, go. Oh, no! Ah. Uh, Yellow flag. I thought I'd get around the accident, and then there was, a mo there was another accident. Not clear, Ryan. Not clear. Not clear, buddy! Three wide up top. Clear inside. Oh, the wrecking! Oh, uh, yeah. All right, what do you know? I got caught up in it. I just want you to know that. Your line, clear left. Left side, clear left. There's an incident in turn seven. We think there's your wreck. Car right, clear right. Left side, clear left. Matthew, car right, clear right. That's my name. I like how he just kept accelerating. Just pushed me out of the way. <laughs> just let me back. Come on, Matt. Good stuff. Keep it coming. 20th place. That lap was a 145.59. Okay, catch up to this other pack. Uh oh. Sector one is not contained off the pace. Yikes. I know. It was bad. I lost a lot of eye rating. I would be interested, though, down in the comments, how much eye rating have you lost in one day? I would love to see the responses because 406. Now that is, it was 103 I rating that I lost from that truck race and then 333 I rating that I lost from the roadside, but still 406 total for the day. Anyway, this video is not about that. The, this video is going to be me giving you some tips and tricks of what I've learned throughout the years of I racing to try to get out of a rut like this. Sometimes you just have a, a stretch of bad races. I mean, it can last a couple days, a week, whatever, right? So let's try to change that, okay? So this is some tips and tricks. First and foremost, practice. If you're used to practicing for 20 minutes before a race, let's go ahead and double that to 40 minutes. If you're used to practicing for 30 minutes before a race, let's go a full hour or 45 minutes or whatever, right? Let's increase the time you spend practicing. Now, within that time of practice, you need to be doing your normal practice, set time aside for that, it's very important, but also to be practicing your opposite lines. Practice taking the inside line into corner. I'm talking road here. Practice taking the opposite lines. Maybe take the inside line on some corners. Take the outside line on some corners. Imagine there's a car to your left going into a corner. Maybe Imagine there's a dive bomber to your right heading into a right-hander, whatever, right? So put yourself in the mind of, of a race because most of the time for races, lap one lap two when everyone's bunched up going too wide through corners that's when all the accidents happen right and then also in practice make sure you're practicing your qualifying run qualifying is so important so make sure you put low fuel in the car and do your three laps as if you were in the qualifying session for a race now because if you can qualify better you're going to be up higher on the standings most likely the wrecks are going to be behind you and you're going to avoid them okay so practice next is we're gonna go ahead and create a little extra bigger safety bubble around our vehicle out there, okay? We're gonna imagine that the outside diameter of our vehicle is much bigger, right? This means stay the heck away from people. Give them a little bit more room. It's worth it in the end, even though you might be giving up some competitive edge going into a corner. Trust me, it's all gonna work out in the end. Just give more room, right? Because obviously you're having issues hitting people like I do, right? So I'm gonna give a little bit more room around my car. Just do it. And also, we're gonna tighten up the track a little bit because a lot of times, if you're racing really hard and you're you're putting a tire off, you're, you're having bad times, you're racking up the one Xs, it's, it's not good. So we're gonna narrow up the track a little bit in our mind. We're gonna narrow up the track a little bit. Next advice would be maybe stick to just one car or one type of car. 
So let's say you like the GT3 cars. Okay, well you can race a GT3 fixed a VRS GT3 and then you can jump in a GT3 car in the IMSA series. So let's maybe just stick to one car or one type of car, one class of car. That's gonna help with consistency. It's gonna help with you being faster and that's gonna, you know, it's gonna, it's gonna pay dividends in the end to be proficient in one uh, classic car. The other piece of advice I can give you is just basic situational awareness. Now, some of this comes with experience. Other, other times it's really, you just got to be on your game, right? You got to be doing your homework before, during, and, and after the race. This means make sure you know what the heck's going on. Make sure you know where you're starting on grid. Make sure if you see any uh, 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 you know, risky characters out there on the relative. Make sure maybe you have a maybe you've had experience with some of these guys before, so you you know like, hey, this guy's safe to race with. This guy I should stay away from. And then once the race starts, you know who's going to be super aggressive, and it's best to just let them by. Most of the time, if you see some crazy dive bomber, or some guy that's showing them you're crazy, if you just let them by, later on you're going to pick up a position because he's going to be off into the weeds somewhere and you really got to be paying attention to who's on track what's going on who's being aggressive who's laying back and you know you just want to get through the first three four five laps to really get into the race and uh so you can f try to finish a race remember the idea is to finish the race it doesn't really matter what where you're starting out uh, you know what your position is or how you started or it's a matter of just finishing the race now i know a lot of this kind of bleeds into you know trying to get out of rookies that's a whole nother video this isn't what i'm really talking about this is basically you've been in i racing for a while you're class b class a whatever you're running imsa and all the big stuff and you're just going through a tough time right now like i am i'm i'm trying to sympathize with some of the people that i'm sure have gone through this before um so i'm just kind of trying to give you my what's going to be my tactics um uh, going forward to try to get me out of this rut it's just a one day rut hey bad luck can happen to anybody um but you also have great luck you sometimes you have good luck and but you can also create your own good luck and that's just like I said, situational awareness, knowing where people are, knowing what's going to happen, being there, doing that before, you know what's going to happen during certain corners, certain times of the race, and you just, you have to anticipate things to the best of your ability. I mean, a lot of the times it's 50-50 and you can come out on top. Other times it, it's pretty bad, but there are some things that try to tip the scales in your favor just a little bit to try to get past some of the, the chaos, but... Um, so that's really about it. Um, so I, I want to hear from you guys down below some of your stories about losing a bunch of I rating. And I think we've all been there, done that. So it's fun to, to share. You know, misery loves company. So I'm here for you. <laughs> but, uh, you know, and, and when you have a bad stretch like me, it can only get better, right? So it, you got to think positive, you know, put the work into it, but also try to get lucky, make your own good luck and think positive. And I'm sure you'll have the motivation to keep on going. So... Let the good times keep rolling. That's all I can say. Let's do this. Ugh.